What is thought? Thought is vibration, is it not? Thought has many layers. Thought has much more of a depth than we, especially in spiritual circles, give it credit for. Thought is not just oh, a word in your mind. Thought is actually a very profound frequency of being. It's a state of being. On the surface, it may be a word. It may be translatable to your mind. But if you enter that word, so to speak, if you enter that thought, if you tune into that thought, that thought becomes this chamber of resonance. It becomes this overwhelming vibration that's then imposed upon the presence energy that's always available to you, that's always responding to you. And so in that way, thought does, in that sense, create reality. So when I use the word thoughts create reality, I don't mean necessarily just on the level of words. I mean the entirety, like the holistic notion of what a thought is. Thought is vibration. Thought is what is, in a sense, in between you as consciousness and the world that you perceive. It's your, it's your um, means of imposing your energy upon creation. And all these words that may sound negative, they're positive in my opinion. Imposing energy is your slave. Those are positive ideas. I don't mean them in the negative connotation that most people use them in. I just described their function. So if thought is frequency, and frequency creates reality, then it's kind of crucial to learn how to master your vibration, is it not? Because it will shape everything. Not that circumstance is ultimately that crucial to your being, but it shapes everything. It shapes your state of being. It shapes the thoughts that will flow from that. It will shape the actions you take. It will shape to what degree you will be expressing yourself. It will shape the relationships you have. It will shape the lessons you learn, how effectively you learn them, how fast you learn them, how much you expand from them or contract from them. It will shape your physical reality, your actual circumstances. It will shape your space-time experience. So, in that sense, thought is pretty crucial. So we can dismiss it, and that's very helpful as a reset button. Just to relax. Relax for two to five seconds. Give away all personal self ideas. Give away all identity. Give away all thoughts. Give it back to life. Give it back to God. Give it back to source. Give it back to present energy. And see the clarity that you are. Notice the freedom that you are, the space that you are, the consciousness that you are, that which never leaves, the container for the contents. Contents is presence energy, formed by presence energy. You are the container, ultimately speaking. But you are also its contents. You are also presence energy. Because creation is not complete without expression. The one is not complete without expressing itself. That's why it's expressing itself. Otherwise it wouldn't do it. If it was already complete in that sense, if it had nowhere else to go, it would not be having this experience. You, as a co-creator, as an individuation of this all that is consciousness, would not be putting me in this chair right now, along with everyone else in the chair next to you. So, pick a thought, but pick wisely. So right now, choose a thought that makes you come alive the most. Or as Abraham would put it, choose, pick a thought, reach for the best feeling thought that you have access to at this moment. Reach for the best feeling thought that you have access to in this moment. It's not that hard. Any thought that feels better than your previous thought is already a success. It's an achievement in that sense. So pick a thought. Realize that you have that freedom to pick a thought. Most people don't realize that they have that freedom. And so they turn to other types of spirituality, which is great too. But really, when you start realizing that you have choice, freedom, suddenly you start to become a master instead of a slave, a creator instead of a beggar, instead of a victim, and things become more fun. So what are you thinking right now? And again, by thought, I mean your vibration. I mean what you're referring to. What are you referring to right now? You're constantly referring to something, right? Usually as if it's out there. Usually as if it's this, oh yeah, money, uh, my, my travel coming up, uh, this, this partner I have over there, I need to call them. All referring outside, outside, outside. That's fine. It's just the illusion of there being an external world. Just realize that while you're doing that, that actually even that over there is actually inside. It's created out of energy, which is existent inside of your consciousness. So you're generating your reality over there, as well as your reality over here. Both simultaneously, non-dually, inseparably exist within the zero point field of your experience, within this singular point of I am, 
I am consciousness. So out there is in here. You've never had an out there experience. You've only had the out there experience in here, right? No one has ever seen an out there experience because they wouldn't be able to tell about it because they've experienced it in here. So everything is here. Everything is now. Everything is yours. You are the contact point, the meeting point of all points of view of existence. All points of view of existence meet in consciousness. It's the common ground for all experiences is consciousness. There is not a single experience that does not meet its destiny, its beginning, its duration, and its end in consciousness. So consciousness itself, you see, is the center point of all of creation, of all the out there's, of all the back then's, and all the in the futures. They're all here now, coexistent. Your thoughts determine which particular parallel reality you're going to be tuned into. So pick a thought again. Let's get in the habit of consciously picking a thought, realizing that you have that ability. First and foremost, you need to realize that you have that ability, not only that ability, but that duty with no sense of pressure whatsoever, but it's your duty. It's your job. That's why you exist. It's to co-create. It's to choose. So right now, pick a thought. Let it be the best feeling thought you have access to. Something along the lines of, I'm amazing. Life is epic. Wait, before we continue, who cringes when they say something like that about themselves? Just honestly, raise your hand. When you think, I'm amazing, what happens? Does anyone contract? Come on, really? You're all free from unworthiness completely? All right. Okay, I'm disappointed in your advancement. <laughs> okay, good. So I'm amazing, right? You can feel that. You can see that thought. You can choose that thought and feel it. Can you? Can you see yourself as being really freaking amazing like and not just as an affirmation so much but as an actual observation like an actual truth i actually am freaking amazing all the things that i've done the way that i can maintain my integrity throughout challenging situations the goodness of my heart all these things the amazingness the uniqueness the fact that i have trillions of cells that are dancing in such a pattern that i look like me whether i like it or not when i look in the mirror doesn't matter it's still amazing ugly or beautiful, whatever the judgment may be, the fact that I exist, the fact that I express myself, the fact that I place this right here, right now, every single nanosecond, effortlessly so, to the point where I don't even notice that I'm creating my reality, that's pretty amazing. But even I as a person am amazing. Can you see that? I'm not talking about me, I'm talking about you right now. You are amazing, right? Can you see in a, in a very simple way, with a very simple thought, that you're absolutely incredible, you're mind-blowing? If you don't, nice, thank you. If you don't see that, you're not lined up with the way reality sees you, with the way that your higher self sees you, with the way that truth sees you. If you don't see your epic just by being you, then you're missing the point. You're missing the truth, the very obvious truth of your existence. So can you reach for the thought that believes, that knows, that sees, that observes? Again, thought is way more than just a word in the mind. It's an entire observation. It's an entire point of view. It's an entire reality in and of itself. It's an angle. It's a complete existence. So can you feel amazing in whatever way that resonates for you, in whatever way that feels easiest and most profound for you? Can you tap into that thought? Cool. Can you do it again? Can you choose another thought that is similarly awesome? but slightly different angle, can you choose another thought that also sees yourself as epic and amazing, but from a slightly different angle yet again, for another reason, perhaps? What other reasons are there? What other ways of seeing yourself are there that allow you to be seen and known as complete epicness? Creation in a body, infinity embodied, and not even really that, just on the expression at level, but still, that's pretty epic. Can you see that? 